Hi there. In my last video, I made this character to demonstrate Stentor Game to you. I didn't do any talking. So now I'm going to show you the character again, but I'm going to give you an overview of how you can start doing quests. So I'm just waiting for the Stentor client to launch from the web browser, and then I'm going to start playing. If you missed the previous video, have a look on the Stendhal Game channel. It's called something like Introduction to Stendhal Game or Introduction to Stendhal, an uh, MORPG. So just have a look for it on our channel and there you'll see how to set up your account and how to start playing. Now I'm actually using... Okay, here's all the noise, hang on. I'm just going to put the volume down a bit so you can hear me still. Is it this? No. That might be a bit better. I just had to adjust the size of the chat window there because I'm on a little tiny netbook with a low resolution. So, I'm off to find someone that I can help by doing a quest for. In this game there are non-playing characters and playing characters. Obviously, I'm a playing character. <laughs> and these guys here with the slightly bluer in their names who just walk around are non-playing characters. But you can talk to them and you can find out what you want them to do. Here's a bakery. They look pretty busy. I'm going to go to the house next door. To get through that portal, I could have walked straight through it. But I was just a little bit lazy and I clicked directly on it. Okay. This lady looks pretty nice. I'm going to say hello. Hi. She said hi back. Now, I got told earlier when I played this before that I should interact with these non-playing characters with certain keywords. And I want to ask for a task. I got told I needed to respond to the blue words. That's what I'm doing now. Okay, she's just asked me a question. In fact, there's a question mark over her little ear thing. That means she wants to hear yes or no. Now we're nice, so we want to say yes. So off we go. She talked about a basement. Down some steps. These look like steps. Oh, it's quite dark in here. Luckily there's a few lights. You know what? I'm going to try putting the volume down even more. So, this lady wants me to kill a whole bunch of rats in her basement. So I'm just clicking on the rats and that attacks them. I started to get a little bit sick. I was getting hurt by them. So I started just eating some cheese, which I did by right clicking on the cheese and clicking use, or I can double click. So there we are. I've just killed some creatures from her basement. I'm going to go back up and see if that's what she wanted. I'm just clicking on the map area to move around instead of using the arrow keys. Mm, because I can. You can do it either way. I'm going to get her attention again now. Hi. There she is. No, I'm not near enough, so she ignored me. Hi. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Well, I only killed a few rats, and apparently there's a snake as well. So... You know what? I think I'm going to leave it for today. I was already getting pretty damaged as I was fighting them. So for the moment I'm just going to say bye and I'm going to come back later. But if I want to remember what I was asked to do, I can look in my travel log. Here's this quest that I've got open for her. Clean the storage space. And here's a little description of what I said I would do. And I haven't finished it yet. So that's all. I'm going to come back another day. Maybe when my skills a bit higher and when I'm feeling a bit braver. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to how to do a quest in Stendhal. Bye bye.